pilots of a solar airplane are taking a breather in California after a tense three-day flight over the Pacific. Sounds like a much-needed breather. The experimental aircraft is halfway toward hitting its goal of flying all the way around the world. Cornell Bernard of our San Francisco station spoke to the pilots. Sky 7 HD captured the amazing sight, the world's first solar-powered airplane flying over the Golden Gate Bridge, completing a two-day flight across the Pacific from Hawaii. I'm going to land, and I did not want to land because I knew I could have carried on. Pilot Bertrand Picard flew the giant aircraft over the Bay Area for several hours Saturday until wind conditions were right for a landing at Moffett Field. It was a hero's welcome. Ah, yes. Arriving to the Golden Gate and thinking, now it's a new era. Solar Impulse 2 might be the world's largest experimental aircraft. Its wingspan larger than a 747 and weighing about as much as an SUV, roughly 5,000 pounds. Important was to have an airplane which has this unlimited endurance, which gets its energy every day uh, to be able to fly through the night. And in order to do that, the airplane had to be extremely energy efficient. Alternating pilot Andre Borchardt says the plane is equipped with 17 solar cells, which power the propellers and charge batteries. A Swiss nonprofit, Renewable Energy Group, put the $170 million project together thanks to private sponsors like Google. But is a solar plane really practical? These entrepreneurs say yes. The Wright brothers. They had no technology to transport passengers when they started. And some people were saying it's useless. And nevertheless, 66 years later, there were two men on the moon and airliners everywhere around the world. Solar Impulse 2 left Abu Dhabi last year, and returning there around the world is the goal. Next stop is Phoenix, then New York. For now, the plane and its pilots are recharging their batteries. At Moffett Field, Cornell Bernard, ABC 7 News.